what does Who guitarist Pete Townsend and Star Trek and living legend William Shatner have in common? They both have tinnitus. Uh, Pete Townsend claims that uh, it was really exacerbated, of course, being the loudest rock and roll band in, uh, in the 60s is probably part of it, but Pete Townsend claims that it happened as a result of his appearance on the uh, Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour where drummer Keith Moon packed extra explosives into his drum kit. William Shatner uh, claims the same thing, uh, not playing with the Who, but when he was... Uh, shooting a scene of Star Trek with uh, some extra explosions. He got a little too close uh, to an exploding something or other during a scene. Either way, they've had to deal with it all these years. Uh, if uh, For tinnitus patients, it is a constant source of potential irritation unless you receive proper treatment. Advanced audiology helps many patients dealing with tinnitus. Uh, condition with no known cure, but symptoms typically include ringing in the ears, whistling, buzzing, whooshing, or clicking. Depending on the severity, the symptoms uh, can be nearly unbearable. But there are treatments, and here to talk about some of those, uh, those issues surrounding tinnitus is Nola. Good morning from Advanced Audiology. Welcome. Thank you. Now, uh, let's talk a little bit about this, because while uh, exp something like a, a real loud, being exposed to really loud noises can be a cause of tinnitus, it's not the only cause, right? Correct. So there's 50 million Americans in the United States that suffer from tinnitus. I've been in practice for 35 years, and 80% of my people come in with some sort of noise in their ears. It does not have to be ringing. And um, it can be caused, mostly it's caused by noise exposure, but it can be caused by aging, it can be caused by wax, but we don't know exactly what causes tinnitus. Right, but there is, so we talked about age. Uh, what, what can people do, first of all, because uh, there are times like if you have your headphones on too loud uh, where you hear a little something or other for a short term, uh, is that considered tinnitus or is it something that is a continually long-term uh, situation? Or are there differences in, in how that uh, works? Well, um, a lot of people just get a little bit of ringing. I do. Uh, sometimes I get some ocean noise or I get something in my ear, but it lasts for like a minute. So I go, whoa, I, I don't want to have that. Right. Um, because that can ver be very debilitating and really affect people's lives. People can't sleep. And it's um, very prevalent today. So because it's so prevalent, a lot of the hearing aid manufacturers have taken that into account. Now, up until now, um, there has not been very many treatments. I'm sure that a lot of people who have it have gone to many doctors and they've been told, well, just live with it or, you know, try to ignore it. Well, that is one of the best things to do is try to ignore it, but sometimes it's so loud and so bad, you can't ignore it. So the hearing aid manufacturers have now developed um, <clears throat> what we call tinnitus maskers inside the hearing aids. And what you do is you have a certain sound that gets you used to your tinnitus so that you're no longer paying attention to it. And then, um, now they've come out, um, Starkey hearing aids and Oticon hearing aids have come out with an app on your um, smartphones so you can control your tinnitus. So that's kind of exciting to hear. So using modern technology but there are uh, to, to control your tinnitus, are there also other techniques, uh, other type of therapies that can, can help to reduce the, the annoyance of tinnitus? Yes, um, there's like um, 10 different suggestions that we give. Number one, the first thing you should do is come in for a free hearing screening. We are the community audiologists, and so we want our community to be able to hear better and be educated in hearing. So we have offered free hearing screenings to anybody that calls us, and um, we um, feel that most people with um, tinnitus have some degree of high frequency or high-pitched hearing loss. Um, not everybody, but it's a good idea to get a baseline anyway. And then the next thing is, if you don't have that, we have um, a device that looks like an iPod that called SoundCure that helps you get used to your tinnitus. We have um, 
recommended, you know, vitamins like lipoflavonoids, and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. I've never had anybody come back and tell me about the drops in putting drops in your ears that you read in the magazines. I've never had anybody tell me that that works, um, but I'd be curious if anybody knows that. And um, uh, then there's um, acupuncture and, um, you know, that's about it. Either way, though, different different options with something that is a continual noise in your ear doesn't have to be ringing, can be some sort of other thing. But in other words, something that's going to definitely distract you from being able to uh, to completely focus and also affect your hearing as well. So what about, let me ask you this, on this level, there are, there are situations also with low frequency uh, hearing loss too as well, right? Where you start really limiting your frequency or is that something, because I've sometimes had people like older people especially have a bit of a lower voice and they claim they can't hear me. Is that maybe they're not listening, or is that also a part of a hearing issue? Well, um, yes, you can have hearing loss in the low frequencies, um, but most of the time it's the high frequencies that's causing the ringing. Got it. So most people have a high frequency hearing loss when I it comes see. to ringing, or I keep saying ringing, but it's any noise in your ear. It's uh, ocean noise. It doesn't it's, go away, right? Right. It's a buzzing noise. It's a cricket noise. It's any kind of noise. Best uh, things to do to prevent getting tinnitus? Well, um, because we don't know the cause of tinnitus, I can't tell you how to prevent getting tinnitus, but I can tell you how to prevent getting um, a noise-induced hearing loss or a high-frequency hearing loss or any hearing loss. And that's number one, you know, um, iPods are one of the number one reasons that the um, younger kids now are getting hearing loss. Um, we um, don't realize, but we start to get hearing loss when we're teenagers and we're younger. And when we're older and we get to be about 50 is when we start seeing the hearing loss. So if you prevent hearing loss before you're 50, like you wear ear protection, you don't turn your iPod up where anybody else can hear it, um, you don't shoot guns without ear protection, Very that true. is the biggest, biggest thing is guns. Everybody thinks it's just loud music. Well, all of us baby boomers listened to loud music and went to concerts, and not all of us have hearing loss. Right. And guns, you know, for those, if you don't use hearing protection, because that's, that's such a range of loud uh, frequencies, and especially, yeah, your ears will definitely ring after firing almost any type of weapon, even a smaller twenty two. That was my military training there. The Nola Aronson's Advanced Audiology, it's SCV Advanced Audiology.com. Come in for your free hearing screening because you want everybody to be able to hear correctly and also correct any problems and if there's any preventive type of correction that is an awesome thing and of course if you're hearing any continual noises in your ears you definitely want to come down and have a have your screening 877-4272 is the number they've got all their social media stuff up there as well you can get all kinds of information on their website again scv advanced audiology.com nola a pleasure to have you come by and give us this uh, outstanding information so thank you so much and uh, continued success in everything going on. Thank you very much.